All right, guys, we just got here to Lompoc. We got a bunch of uh, trail bosses. A little Camaro action going on right here. 2500 on the number five position and a Corvette. All right guys, we made it to Vegas. This is uh, the 12 car load I put on my Instagram. You can see the Luxor light over there, sort of. There's a thunderstorm going on over there. I think it already passed, thankfully, because if it was gonna be raining over here, we were gonna drop this. I was just gonna go home, call it a day, and use that as an excuse. Safety first, you know? <laughs> Anyways, check that out right there. This is probably the biggest concern is those ramps uh, giving that front windshield a kiss when you make that turn. So we just had to make a few adjustments, bringing this, bringing this car back a little bit more, lowering it just a little bit more. So we had our clearance up there. There you go, zoom that in, bring it back out, looks good. And then uh, we brought that car back just a little bit more and we just put, we just shimmied those back that way. And uh, we made the clearance and felt good about it. But that's about it. Pretty easy on the bottom, <clears throat> on the bottom of the trailer. Super easy. Just bring that as far as you can in, into the sleeper. Super easy. Just have this all the way forward in the belly. Spark sits right there. We got plenty of room. No biggie. We even have plenty of room right here. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Lemon squeezy. All right, that's it. We're gonna take these off. Go home. I'm tired. I need a beer. Yeah. All right. You guys have a good night. Like I should. Da, 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 Never stressed. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're just over here. Rest area. Drop the nice, drop the nice deucer, bro. This is a good morning. Trying to make it back to Oxnard where we can load up and go back home. But first, this drop to Los Elsos. And then we're just gonna take a lovely drive. Where are we at? Camp. Robert's rest area. Oh, look at that. We just mined some coins right there. Isn't that lovely? Link in description, guys, if you want to start mining some free cryptocurrencies on the coin app. Beautiful morning, like I said. Let's go. So I just finished putting on my clothes. 
my rain clothes to get out here and unload. I, I waited for like 15, 20 minutes to let it die down. It died down and uh, now it's coming down again. So good stuff. All right, well, either way, either way, either way, we're gonna get out there. We're gonna drop these cars. We gotta go. We gotta hurry up. Time stop. No man. Apparently neither does the rain. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Boom, tsk, boom, boom, tsk, boom, boom. Rain. I know, I'm an idiot. What's up, you guys? We just stopped over here on the side of the road on the 101, and we just stopped to eat a little can of tuna. Or, uh, what is this? Uh, Kipper filet smoked herring. I I love this. I'll, I'll eat that with some plain, some plain chips. Just because it already has so much sodium, you don't want to have too much sodium in your system. And we got our little uh, Pellegrino mineral water. Mineral water is really good, dude. Like, you need minerals in your water you can't it, the more water you drink that's like just plain water it doesn't got anything in it all it's doing is flushing out all the minerals and vitamins you you have in your body already so anyways we're feeling fancy you know little fish little pellegrino oh i rarely do this i, I almost never like car haulers we almost never pull over to just enjoy our lunch yeah we're just basically gonna hit up port wainimi load up some gms yeah i got seven to perump and then a couple, and uh, then three to Vegas. Start our weekend. Oh no, no actually no, we're not gonna start our weekend because we were kind of down for two days over here. Amir Loma, work Saturday and Sunday. Stay ahead of the game. I don't really like getting behind on the money. I really don't, it bothers me. It's like a, it's like a thing in the back of your neck. You know, you don't feel good. I don't, at least I don't. I don't feel comfortable being home knowing that I could have did more, put more money in the bank kind of thing. Not that money's everything, obviously, you know, time with your family, things like that, way more important. But you know, we're trying to save up to buy a house right now. So in our industry, the money's not always there. Last year, when the Cornholio sickness hit, can't really use the words because YouTube will demonetize your video or, or blacklist it or delist it whatever anyways when that hit last year and i've been car hauling for like four years now about four years yeah i think about four years and i've never seen it dead in mira loma the way it was dead when when everything hit that was a big eye opener for for me and the, the whole everybody who, who car hauls because everyone was just picking scraps some people weren't even able to work able to go to work and they were like switching switching like up a, a wave of drivers is like all right uh this group of drivers can't drive this day and then uh like they would take turns you know like a group of drivers would drive another day it's really weird because there wasn't that many cars around Miraloma was dead it was like you never see like certain sides of Miraloma empty they're always full and this time we're talking like just like football fields of empty of empty rows where there's normally cars and it was like that everywhere it's like when that hit it's like you didn't even mind doing four drops just because you needed to get that money right now we're just trying to take advantage of, of all the units that are actually in these yards you got to stack fill your bags as much as possible during these times when it's busy and not take it for granted because it's really easy to take it for granted because there's so much work right now but this shit could dry up could dry up like that man i'm not trying to play games trying to hustle while we can while we're able to that's it we're done i'm just gonna sip on this bubbly feeling fancy down the 101 okay let's ride <laughs> So I just got here to the Perump dealership and there was uh, police officers. There's officers everywhere, as you can see. Let's see. Yeah, there's sheriffs all around this dealership because uh, there was a high-speed pursuit from Las Vegas. Uh, a couple of uh, a couple of stolen cars, I think, like two or three or something. From what this guy told me. And uh, the guy, the guy ended up uh, almost ended up in a shootout, guns drawn, and then that fool took one of them took off in here into this dealership and tried stealing. <laughs> Tried stealing a customer's car. Uh, I guess the other suspect in a Mustang, he's still headed to California. Highway Pursuit, uh, CHP took over the pursuit. I'm gonna try to find out some more news about this and try to post it in the video. And this is one of those moments that it, it just it just happened, like right before I got here, apparently. This is one of those moments where I'm just kind of glad I slept in uh, an hour early, because we would have been here for sure, 100%. Right when it happened, who knows, you know, that's kind of, it's kind of those things, you know, you just kind of let the, I just go with, I just go with the flow these days. I, I try not to stress too much about um, getting held up by certain things, because whatever's looking after me, whatever's looking after us, uh, <laughs> this is one of those moments where you're just like glad that you were uh, held up by sleep or, or whatever. Like, we're good, we're safe. We're about to go back home. Yeah, yeah. I keep 
yeah, yeah. Hey guys, all I'm saying is, don't try this at home, all right? You guys might get hurt. But that's a fist, dude. That stands for unity, power, wind, earth. I'm Captain Planet. Duh, dude. Actually, I'm a werewolf. Holler at your boy. All right, good morning, guys. We just got a little two 1500 action going on this morning. Heading to Salinas, little canyon, GMC Canyon. Elevation. Elevation. Are you elevated, bro? Because I'm elevated. Like that elevated 200, 2500, 2500. Mr. Chevy Traverse and La Corvette. La Corvette. Little seven, little seven car action. We're off. We're off just a little bit, you know? See, we're just like right there, right? I still had more room. I could have maybe just a little smidge more, but we're good. Let's go do this. Then we're going to go hit up, uh, hit up Milapitas. Head back down the coast. And then head back down the coast. Because then we got to get it back to the yard because Boydston's, I don't know, these these seals just don't, they do not like hold up. I don't know what's up. Oh, jeez, they're still leaking. Just the tit. Just the tit leaking. All right, guys, we made it. We made it to Arroyo Grande. Dropping off these last, these vans. And then we still got to go drop off these Fords at Goleta. Out. Everyone's trying to sleep, dude. I know the sleep won't be no help. Now it's no contest. S on my chest. All right, we're done. We're done with you. I can't. I can't. Oh my god, I can't, dude. Let's grab our keys. Set of keys. There we go. I need to find the drop box for this. I couldn't find it. Look at that. Mach E, dude. That's a good color. I like that. Malahe. Malahe. Where's the drop box, dude? Dude, where's the drop box? Where's the drop box, dude? Dude, where's the drop box? Where's the service? Where's the service? Drop? It's gotta be over here. It's gotta be. Oh, God. Oh, God. Leave the notes at 24 7. Oh. <laughs> Hello, for your convenience. Early bird night owl. Yes, because I'm an early bird night owl. Oh, you just dropped in there. Oh shit. Let's go in here. Do, do, do. Walla walla bing bang. Board keys. Always make sure these metal keys. Always make sure these are paired up with the keys that don't have these in them. Anyways, alright. I don't always teach you that in car hauling training school. What the heck? They just leave, they just leave the hoods of the cars open? Are you serious? It is a different world out here. <laughs> you ain't leaving those anywhere else open like that. You might. I mean, they are like street side, so it would be hard for people to just be thieves and steal the car parts from there. But man, it wouldn't take that long to take a still an Intec from one of those Mustangs that are just with the wind, with the, with the hoods just wide open like that. It would not be hard for a good thief. Now this, yeah, you can leave the hood open because there ain't nothing under there. Spectrum. Well. Spectrum, here are your new van. They're here at Ford Arroyo Grande, ready for you to pick up and go Spectrum, people. All right, we got to go put back on the Ford Explorer. Damn, I wish I could have stayed here and got one of these Donut Delights. That's what it's called, Donut Delight. We got to hurry up, guys. We're already uh, short on our 70 hour clock. <laughs> we worked through the weekend. I was working through Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. So, yeah. But we were off during the week, a little bit during the week because the truck was down. Right. And then I got to get those hydraulic lines looked at because they're still leaking pretty good. Man, it's so much more fresh. Air feels so good out here on the 101. We're in Goleta, Goleta Enterprise. If you drop off here, you're gonna you're gonna end up making a crazy U-turn right here, and then you're gonna have to pull in, pull in, uh, pull into there, and back back into that spot, and then hit it hit it to the left hard. But you don't. But you want to load unload first before you do that. So make sure you're empty because you're gonna have to hit it pretty hard. Maybe even uh, maybe even open up your open up your fifth wheel and slide it and slide it forward 
because you don't want your you don't want your ramps in your belly to uh, meet your <clears throat> meet your mud flaps and make little dents in your metal beautiful mud flaps like I did one time. Now it looks ugly. All right, guys, this might be this might be the last few weeks with this Pete, and I might be I, I, I think I'm gonna be switching to the to a Western Star. I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. This thing's been giving me so much problem. I'm just in and out of the shop, as you guys always see in the videos. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I just stick with it, ride it out, so the wheels fall off, or just just get into the 10 car Western Star? And it's a control. Uh, working on the weekend like usual. <laughs> All system or go. Alright, looks like there's an emergency scene up ahead. I wonder what happened. Let's take a truck. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. These, uh,. Customers right here. They saw me pull up in the truck and I guess this is their truck right here When I sent in the information through the through our app to let the dealership know we we loaded this <clears throat> We loaded these units on the truck. They get a they get an email just kind of saying like we loaded it And we may or may not be on our way And I think they told their customer that, that I loaded the trucks and it's like yeah good thing I didn't uh, I didn't stick around or I didn't I didn't stay home and just watch the Super Bowl Because this customer is gonna get to enjoy his brand new truck truck today so that's kind of cool he came he was like oh yeah that's the one so he was all he was really stoked that's cool i'm glad i got to see that gives me i don't know it makes me kind of happy i guess in a corny way this guy you know people work hard for a living dude you know and you finally save up enough money or whatever your situation is and you got a brand new car like that could make that could make your whole week your whole month feels good having a brand new vehicle also a brand new you know brand new trucks gotta feel good Anyways, I don't know if there's a moral of the story of that other than uh, customers first. The other night, I had a bad dream. I was car hauling and I was, uh, it was this spot right here. I had, I had like, um, I, I was pushing this forward, right? And I don't know, I don't know why, but the, the handle, the hydraulics just got stuck on stock moving and I wasn't able to stop them and they kept moving forward like this. And this car that was on here was gonna crush this one. And I don't know why, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why, but I went like this. I went like this to put my leg over. I don't know why I was gonna go that way, but it was like a reaction to like stop this car from getting, I don't know what, I don't know why, but I ended up going like this. And by the time I can get my leg over, it was already um, smashed, getting smashed into this car that was right here and the sleeper and like, I started, I like freaked out and I woke up from the bad dream. It was just like all bad. I don't know, you guys, what's your guys' worst car, har car hauling uh, nightmare? Cause I'd be having them, bro. I'll have, I'll have dreams, man, where I'm like, where, where the, where the whole truck gets flipped over. You ever have those? Where, where the whole, where you're making a turn and it's windy and the whole thing just, you know, flipped over. I mean, that rarely happens to, almost, almost never does it happen, like to car haulers, where. It's flipped over because of wind. Uh, definitely from driver air, but for the most part, you know, these things are pretty hard to flip over in, in windy conditions. Uh, at least over here on the West Coast, you know, because obviously we don't have tornadoes or any crazy gale force winds or whatever. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get it up a little bit more. All right, round two. All right, we're good. <laughs> that's the worst, uh, that's like the worst thing, you know, thinking scratch the top of your roof like a, like a jerk off. I don't wanna do that, bro. You know, you never wanna do that. You never wanna make silly mistakes like that. What's the B? What's in the B? Everything you do is amazing. I got what you need. Da -da 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 Always get out and look, huh? We got a car on this side, you know, we don't want to hit one of our drive, another driver's personal vehicles, because that would be rude, we don't want to do that, so. All right, hey guys, we're just uh, getting, getting ready to park. We're gonna go check out the game, the foosball game.
sometimes you just gotta go through the back door. Hello, hello. Bro, why are you going through the back door, dude? Super weird. Oh, oh, you know. 10 car problems, 10 car hauler problems. See, obviously we can't open the door and get out. All right, well, I'm just I'm just here with, with Brandon, and he's just basically gonna tell 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 you guys what he normally looks for whenever we bring vehicles in to the, to their dealerships. So pretty much the first thing I always look at the bottom because I found it. So like on truck, like yeah, on trucks. Like on a big truck, I found the I find it. I found dents down here before. Okay. Uh, big trucks, I don't worry too much. I always check them. The door edges on the passenger side, but the driver side where I normally look. Um, always look at the roof, obviously. I've been told by a lot of drivers people don't look at the roof. <laughs> so I kind of go around. I'll make a lap around, look at the bottom half, and then I'll kind of come back through, look at the top half, and then I'll jump up on the roof. I always just kind of run my finger down that because if there's something there, you catch it. Right. Kind of look at areas where they could scrape. Uh, if it's a real lower down car, I'll, I'll look and make sure if there's no scuffs on the bottom of the bumper. But okay. For the most part, and then uh, make sure I got two keys and I got all my uh, the bypass in here, which is there. So. What about like rims? Do you check rims? Yeah, I mean, really I, often. I, I look at them when I go around. But if nothing pops out at yeah, you. If nothing too crazy, you know, I, I don't I don't get too picky on them. Uh, plus, a lot of times when the Chevys come in, they don't even freaking take the. Uh, like the lube they used to put the tires on there so it kind of makes it if you look at some of them i mean they're all freaking they look like they're covered in scrapes but but it's just all dirt and grime it, it's just the the lube from putting the tire on and the dirt from the road sticking to them so, okay you know like stuff like this i know it'll wipe right off so right you know all that grime yeah it's like so so you don't you're not trying to go and nitpick at it no, every no. single well, thing that might look like nice it because they have covers on their wheels so. what are some of the driver tricks that that uh, drivers try to do I, to, I to hide my, stuff my number one thing is when i see someone pull a car up about that close to the other one <laughs> uh i usually can find damage in, in there so okay you know sometimes they play stupid what i didn't see that <laughs> i was telling the guys to drop the two escalades off these two escalades are the first two that i've got recently because the last two that i got in two different drivers two different companies the antennas were scratched or uh they were like the hit. shark antenna yeah they were like hit with the end uh, with the the truck yeah the ramps uh, on yeah. top yeah so one guy tried to tell me it was factory it was on a black escalade they had red paint all over it and it's like and the trailer was red yeah and i'm sitting here like so the red paint's factory okay <laughs> all right but yeah that's kind of my main thing just uh door chips as long as it's not like something crazy big we don't get too crazy with them nice yeah for the most part keys five pack kind of the, the basics you know how do you feel about stuff uh inside like uh like if you see the door the driver door I like scuffed i mainly will look at the drivers like when i get in to get the keys i'll look at the driver's door i'll look at the trim panel just make sure there's no gouges in it okay for the most part there's stuff that they the detailers have to wipe off the fingerprints and stuff it's normal it comes on every freaking car yeah it's worse when you get an escalade in with all white interior true it's really really light uh gray but usually most of that stuff comes right off Sweet. so as long as it doesn't have a gouge or a scratch or a rip a tear as far as interior i mean i just look at the basics inside all right your steering wheel doesn't have no gouges in it it's happened okay yeah, now now we're having to make sure that like, like if this now this one doesn't have it, because uh, some of them will have the scan disc. You gotta make sure that scan disc is in there, oh, really? or or I guess mostly you just gotta check the Maroni too, because it'll yeah, just say. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Like if there's yeah, one of these cars doesn't have mats in it, so I just look at the Maroni. Yeah. It tells me it takes uh, all weather liners, which we install here. So. So that'll say factory. In, say, d say, installed by dealer. Dealer installed. Dealer installed. Yeah, dealer installed. In parentheses, dealer installed. yeah I had one. Uh, I had. I think it was a Traverse. They. It didn't have the the, the rocker panels. Yeah. Right here, and it says dealer installed on the thing, and because one of the guys was freaking out, he's like, "Oh, hey, what's what's going on?" <laughs> I was like, "Check your Maroni, bro." <laughs> well. I actually had an interesting one with Vince when he came in here uh, was it last week, I think. We, we got a truck in. It didn't say dealer installed liners on there, but they didn't have no mats inside. And so I was looking, I think, yeah, that's kind of weird, you know. But ended up, they when they ordered the vehicle, they didn't put the, they took liners. Or they didn't put to order liners with it. Oh, so okay. That, they had to order some liners from the customer and they it. Oh, okay. So it wasn't on us no, or no. the Maroni. No, because that was the first time that's happened where if it doesn't say dealer installed on there, and I look, that was the first time that's ever happened where it didn't have any mats in it and it didn't say dealer installed. Right. So that's just the ordering issue. Gotcha. 
because Vince even told me he's like, hey man, I saw the same thing. He's like, yeah. he probably got the okay by our our dis yeah, our yeah, claims he department. Me, he's like, I can put it down, but he's like, they'll fight it. And I was like, oh, you know what? As soon as I saw that wasn't on there, I don't blame worry about it. Yeah. Not, you know, I'm not gonna make you guys go through it for no reason. I mean. For sure. Cool, man. Basics, man. Well, thanks for your help, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of here, put this Bronco on, and or uh, which way should I go for Lithia? Lithia if I get out right here to the right? Yeah, so if you go out here to the right, uh, Lithia, actually, you're gonna get in, let's see, I believe you're gonna get in the turn lane, make a left, and it should be right on the other side of the freeway, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, sweet. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This All one, right. Yeah, I think that's Shit. Lithia Ford. Yep. It. I just I, after I after I just dropped this the the porters were still here so that's pretty cool and uh, they're like oh how many you got I told him ten bro he's like what I'm like, fuck I'm just fucking with you I just got one dude that's it he was like oh god damn thank you thank you thank you he was stressing out do you ever wanna you ever wanna make a porter have a bad day tell him you got ten units. Time to unload the truck. Me and this other uh, professional driver, we just uh, got back at the same time back at the yard. So we're about to put everything back in the in the car. So we're just packing everything up. It looks like a mess because I just threw everything in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and empty out this truck and then we're gonna start anew when we come back to Monday, Sunday. Ooh, let's go, dude. Let's get out of this place, guys. Let's get home, dude. I got it. A little bit of gin and tonic waiting for me when I get home, dude. Come on. Open, 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 open. Woo! Later. Oh, let's go fast and furious. Just kidding. We're going slow, dude. Come on. It's dirty. This car's been sitting there all week. Ah!